Welcome to this lesson, and this lesson is all about how to do long division with polynomials by not doing long division. It's just a short way of doing it that will save you heaps of time. So we'll start off with the question, and we've got p of x, or that's just like f of x, so they tend to use p of x when we're talking about a polynomial. So it's x cubed minus 11x squared, I think I get that wrong. That should be 6. I just got to get the right question. Minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6. All right. So if you were asked to factorize that without using a calculator, the first thing you would do, you would use the factor theorem and you would look for factors of 6. So 1, 2, 3, and 6, and the negative is of all of them. So you could try any of those eight numbers, and a good one to always start on is the number 1. And subbing that in, you would get 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6, and all of that is 12 minus 12, which equals 0. So therefore, we can say that x minus 1 is equal to... <laughs> it's late on a Saturday night x minus 1 is a factor of the above polynomial, polynomial. So, here comes the tricky bit, or the easy bit, for figuring out what the other factors are. Alright, so, and all we have to say is this, x times by what here will equal x cubed? And the answer for that is x squared. And minus 1 times by what? here would give you minus 6 and the answer for that would be plus 6 and then we have an x term in the middle the coefficient of which we do not know yet so to work it out what we do is this so if we were multiplying this uh, these two brackets out we would go x times x cubed gives us x sorry x times x squared gives us x cubed x times this x term would give us something x squared so we just don't know what that something is and the other x squared term we would get from those two, which would be minus 1x squared. And when we combine those two, we would end up with minus 6x squared at the top. And the only number that fits here that makes that happen would be minus 5. So minus 5x squared minus x squared would equal the minus 6x squared. So what that means is that when we multiply these, uh, these I'll just colour code that these two together, we must get minus 5x squared, so we're timesing x by something to equal minus 5x squared, and the answer to that would be minus 5x. So that means there's the x, and that would be, my, uh, actually we'll do that in red still, so that would be minus 5x. And there's the quadratic that we get when we divide the linear factor into the original cubic and if we did that by long division that would be the answer that we'd get on top of the division. So we've got x minus 1 and then factorizing this a little bit easier than doing a cubic on its own quadratic x minus 2 x minus 3 and there we have it we have factorized the cubic function by initially using the factor theorem which gives us our first factor, and then we use this short method to find the other two factors. Much quicker than long division, and I highly recommend you year 12 students and possibly year 11s if you're looking at this, uh, practice this until you can do it. It's going to save you a lot of time. The only time you wouldn't use this would be if you are asked to, to show or to find the factors by using long division. But other than that, this method is uh, much quicker and will save you a lot of time. So. Uh, there's some more videos to do with this kind of maths on our website. Have a look, see what you think, and I'll see you in the next lesson.